Hi, I'm Matt from Solarbyte. Just tuning in to give you a few tips on installing a mid-drive conversion kit on a dual suspension bicycle. First thing to look at is getting a bicycle with the right geometry. You need to have good room within the front triangle to put the battery. It's difficult to find a dual suspension bike that has adequate room. You can always put the battery above the top tube or below the down tube, but for superior performance and better looks, it's better to find a bike that has good room here that can fit the battery that you want to use. The next thing to look at is making sure you have the right bottom bracket um, shell. The bottom bracket is the part that connects the cranks to the bicycle and allows revolution of the cranks. Usually they're 68 to 73 mils uh, length across, the dual suspension bikes often have a wider one which can be around the 90 mil mark. Makes it difficult. You can get specialised kits to suit that, but it's better also if you have the regular bottom bracket width. Between 68 and 73 mil works really well. Also have a look to see whether your bottom bracket is press fit or not. Press fit is difficult because the actual shell diameter is larger which then will require you to create cups to fit the axle of the motor through so it takes up any of the slack. Once again, all best avoided by choosing a bike. Typically older models, between 5 to 10 years old, have better dimensions than the newer, um, newer bikes which are using larger, wider, press fit bottom brackets. Once you've got the right bike, installation is quite easy. Just uh, slide, take the original bottom bracket out and slide the motor through and fix it up and do it really, really tightly. I also find the motor can swivel in the bottom bracket where the axle is. So if you sit the motor up against the down tube, then that will prevent movement also because the natural inclination of the motor is to want to swing away from the movement of the chain. So that will help you limit the um, movement with the motor and the motor coming loose. Sometimes also the chain ring can touch on the chain stay if it's too close. This is quite simple to fix. You just need to put some spacers on the motor axle before you slide it in. The rest is really simple. Just install an LCD, uh, have a power selector on your grip and you can, that, will, that will select the level of power assistance um, power. And then you also put on a throttle. And then once you've done that, you really have a great electric bike. It's very difficult to get a dual suspension electric bike or below 5,000 of decent quality. So if you want to put a mid-drive conversion kit on one, it's a really good option and a lot of fun.